how habits can make or break us. Do you feel like you can't stay on your fitness and diet regimen on a consistent basis with all the calories you're counting, all the reps that you're doing, all the hard work? It still seems hard to stay consistent. Well, you must look into the power of habits before starting your fitness journey because habits are what we do on a regular basis. Habits have molded us to the body that we have now and habits can be the mold for our future dream body. Hi, my name is Jose Villablanca and I'm a holistic lifestyle coach and fitness expert. I've studied a bit about habits and how they can easily change us and easily set us off to the wrong track. And this is because I was curious to see with my clients as to what made them successful and what made them fail time and time again. So I looked into habits. And just to let you know, we are creatures of habit and we don't discriminate between a good habit or a bad habit. Now, here are a few examples of habits. Exercising first thing in the morning is a good habit. Watching TV, playing video games, surfing social media channels for hours on end at the end of the day can be a bad habit, especially if you do it for hours on end. Eating healthy meals is a good habit, and eating that consistently is a really good habit. Drinking alcohol and eating processed foods very frequently is a bad habit. If you do it once in a while, you know, having a cheat day, that's fine, but doing this consistently can lead to a bad habit. And there are two major reasons for having bad habits, boredom and stress. Think about it. When do you have bad habits? When are you bored? When are you stressed? What do you do when you're stressed, right? So to plan against boredom and stress, here are a few things that you can do. Choose a good stress reliever. For me, I like exercising. Some people, they like to go for a run because they think they're out of their work environment, they have time to themselves while they run. Some people like to meditate. I do that once in a while as well, and it really does help. There are other ways to avoid boredom as well. I highly suggest filling up your calendar by doing fun and exciting and new stuff that you haven't done before, just so that you don't feel bored. Now, just don't think about you having the bad habits, but think about how you can go back to the time before your bad habits because you were never always a smoker you were never always a drinker you were never always a couch potato before that you developed that habit through again boredom or stress so just think about how you can get back to the time before your bad habits now it takes on average 66 days to develop a new habit now the harder a new habit you'd like to ingrain the longer it took the easier the habit you'd like to ingrain, the shorter it took. So you can choose either habits that help you achieve your goals or habits that slow you down. Now, if you want more information about habit building and how it can help towards achieving your fitness goals, feel free to reach out, email me, give me a call, and I highly suggest booking a session or a consultation with me today. I also have a program that you can do online just so you could improve and change your habits for the better. Thanks for listening, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye now.